Locked out again. Tried other expensive products that claim to open locks, but they keep falling short. Then try the amazing new air-powered lockpick set. Just point and shoot and you're in. Those weren't even my things. To find out how you get your amazing new lockpick, just keep watching now. Hello, welcome to the Tiny Ballistics Lab. Okay, we had a little fun earlier with the infomercial, but who hasn't seen a movie or a TV show where someone pulls a gun out and blows a padlock away? Well, fortunately, there's already some great videos out there on the topic. But what about air guns? Could a tiny 177 caliber air gun pellet really blow away a steel lock? Well, of course not. That's why we'll be shooting a tiny lock made of brass. Since we have two identical locks, let's pick two pellets to test. Even though the locks are tiny and brass is relatively soft, they're solid and they feel pretty tough for their size. I think we need a couple of steel tipped pellets, since steel is harder than brass. The Gamma Rocket is capped with a 3mm steel ball, and it has nearly 10 grains of lead to drive it home. Let's put the Gamma Rocket against its close cousin, the Gamma PBA Armor. The much lighter and faster PBA Armor has the same hard tip, but without the mass behind it. Which one will open the respective locks? I don't know, let's go find out together. Since we're going to be testing locks, we need to build something to, well, lock up. Oh, I know, let's build a miniature armored blast door. We start with a piece of 28 gauge galvanized steel. We cut the door out and we'll use the remainder for the door's frame. After drilling pilot holes for the hardware, we fasten them to the metal using pop rivets. Pop rivets are really fun to use, and there's no denying how cool they look. The steel has great tensile strength, so our hardware should stay put. Now we laminate planks of balsa wood to the back of the door and frame. It's amazing how much rigidity they provided. Now we just fasten the blast door to the blast deck and support it with more balsa wood. And here it is, all ready for our experiment. Now I fasten the two locks and we're ready to test. Oh no, I just remembered earlier today I left my prized diecast VW behind the blast door. I'm sure it'll be fine behind all that armor. We'll be shooting the pellets out of a Benjamin Phoenix Nitro Piston 2 air rifle. I think we'll start things off with the Gamma Rocket on the top lock. Looks like the Gamma Rocket busted the lock right open. Both locks wound up backwards, so when I approached the target, I thought I missed the whole thing. It wasn't until I flipped the lock over that I realized that the heavy Gamma Rocket totally crushed the key plug and caused a shockwave that busted the lock wide open. Now let's try the lighter, but faster, PBA armor. This time the opposite happened. I missed the lock entirely. The pellet went through the shackle, you know, the shiny looped part, and hit the hardware, destroying it. I moved the lock I just missed to the only good hardware left on top of the door. Well, I got a piece of that lock all right. But the hardware broke again. Look, there's the brass loop going for a ride along with the lock. It also delaminated our blast door. That high velocity ballistic tip took the corner of the lock right off. But it didn't open it. 
Let's try for a cleaner shot, just beneath the one we already did. Wow, the pellet got lodged right in the lock. I bet the steel tip went right into the mechanism. We'll check that out later. I'm going to take another shot with the Gamma Rocket, but I want it to be a little bit more challenging, so I'm going to try to hit the top of the shackle. It looks like I hit the top of the shackle, but the rest of the pellet went right through the blast door. Oh no, my prized die-cast car is ruined. We might as well put it out of its misery. Wow, that PBA armor went right through the blast door, through the windshield, and then through the back window of the VW. Maybe you should shoot the door now. Good idea. Wow, that Gamble rocket went right through the door, interior door panel, and the seat. Presumably it went out the passenger side window after that. And now the other door, you big lab rat. No need for names. I was going to shoot the other door anyways. Wow, the PBA armor also went through the car door, the door panel, and then almost went through the other door. Do you remember that PBA armor we lodged in one of the locks? Let's see what it did. That's pretty neat. The steel ball is completely wedged in there, yet I can still rotate it. Well, I'm not sure how much we learned today, but I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did as well. I must say it was interesting to see the two steel-tipped pellets perform so well in all of the tests. The PBA armor didn't open its lock, but the steel ball driven right into the center more than made up for it. Stick around for more macro shots of the damage we did. Thank you so much for watching! Did you know that subscribing to my channel is completely free and you'll be alerted when I release new videos? Just click the logo you see right now and you'll be on your way to YouTube happiness! I'm sure you'll love my other videos. Click here to watch them now.